Hello, today we'll be talking about layouts for uh, Android Studio applications and to start off we'll talk about linear layouts. Just like how the name sounds, the views can be aligned horizontally or vertically. For the vertical layout, the views will be aligned from the top and the bottom of the elements and you can put these elements in separate columns but they would still be aligned from the top and bottom. As you can see, when we place two buttons on top of each other, they are aligned in the same column relative to the bottom of the top element. Now, when we add a third button between these two, but in a separate column, you will see that it would keep the vertical flow and there will be a space in the column where the new button would be if we placed it here. That's it. Horizontal layout is similar to the vertical layout, but the flow would be horizontal. When you place elements, they would be aligned from the right and the left of other elements rather than the top and bottom like the vertical. As you can see, the same thing happens when you place two buttons horizontally this time and uh, in the same row. And then if you add a third button on a separate column, a space would also be created to maintain the horizontal flow. Now, now that you know between the difference between vertical and horizontal, uh, you can easily switch between these two different uh, orientations by going to the sidebar uh, and selecting uh, under orientation, horizontal, or vertical. And if you're like a keener like Justin Lai and read code all the time, you can go into the background code and under this line, you can just change horizontal and vertical in the string and it will automatically do that. As you can see, you can create compound layouts by placing uh, both horizontal and vertical layouts together so you can take advantage of the pros of both layouts. I'll be able to create a T-shape with buttons by inserting a vertical layout in a horizontal layout. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the relative layout, which you have been using this whole time. Basically, the items inside a relative layout are relative to other stuff. For example, as you can see on the screen, there are arrows pointing at the objects representing the relative distance. Because the second and the third buttons are related to the, the first one, if we move the first button, the other, the, the whole thing will move with it. Okay, the following pro tips are for pros like Dong Huang Kim. If we look at the code, we can see that there are parts of the album that shows the relation between these buttons. Like here, and here, and here. Cut. Now that you know all three types of layouts, um, you might want to know how you can switch easily between um, all three. When you start off your program, you will realize that it starts off as relative layout and you would want to switch to uh, perhaps a linear layout and you would do so by changing um, the, the title here to linear layout. And you have to remember to also change the bottom part. And now uh, you also have to add the orientation of the linear layout by adding uh, Android orientation, which equals to uh, horizontal or vertical, whatever your choice is, and it will automatically uh, set that for you. Nice. Yeah, hey!